Well, the bears remain in the market today with key market indicators depreciating by 0.48%. The equities market ended Tuesday's trading session with investors losing a little over 50, 59 billion naira in value, with the market capitalization of all equities dropping down to 12.211 trillion naira from 12.270 trillion naira recorded in its previous session, which was yesterday. And yesterday's loss was largely attributed to the consumer goods sector as it recorded a 3.69% decline. Today's loss, on the other hand, is largely attributed to the bank banking sector as it records a 3.05% decline. Now, the consumer goods, on the other hand, made the most gains, going up by 1.60%. Now, if we take a look at our gainers chart, we see Nestle topped a gainers chart, topped a top four. Yesterday, Nestle was on the top of our losers chart, declining by 145 naira. Today, it has gained 130 naira and closed at 1,485 naira. Dangote is still on our list. Access Bank and Learn Africa ends at top four. On our losers chart, we have Nigerian Bureaus with a 4.686% decline in share price to take Nestle's place on the losers chart. Guaranteed Trust Bank, Dangote Sugar, and Forty All, who was also on the losers chart yesterday. It remains on the loser's chart today with a 4.99% decline in its share price. Now, on the top traders' chart, we have, of course, the financial sector, banking sector to be precise, with Guaranteed Trust Bank coming in first, UBA maintaining its position on the traders' chart, Diamond Bank and Access Bank making our top four traders. And in summer, we have a total of uh, over 150 million shares valued at over 1 billion naira in almost 4,000 deals, as to be precise, 3,678 deals. But if we take a brief look at our global stock market, we'll see that the London Stock Exchange closed in the reds with 0.42%. Dow Jones, that's the American Stock Exchange, closed in the greens with a 0.22% increase, while the Asian Stock Exchange closed with a 1.30% increase. Yesterday, we had all of them in greens. Now, today, we have just the London Stock Exchange in the greens. Now, that's all I have for you. For